Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Coof Hoops, and I'm Seth, and today, or sorry, first off, I'm getting back on YouTube on this channel. I want to post more, we're going to go to NBA content, maybe I'll post the game video again, just I decided to get back into YouTube, I've been focusing on NW Sportscast, me and my brother and my friend's podcast channel, make sure you guys that out, link will be in the description and at the end of the video, and on my channel banner, but make sure you guys check them out, but I'm going to get back into YouTube on this channel, and I'm going to start posting just some NBA sit-down content, some reactions, like, just anything you can think of NBA-related, any big news, and I'll also maybe throw in a 2K video here or there, or anything you guys want to see. I don't have that many viewers. Please subscribe, it help the world. Uh, yeah, none of my videos get views except for my pack opening, and I'll definitely try to get another pack opening out soon. I just don't, I can't find cards anywhere. Luckily, the rookies are out now, so I can start pulling rookies again. So I'll try to buy some more cards soon. But today, we're going to be talking about my way-too-early NBA predictions or not predictions, yeah, predictions, sure, my playoff predictions, and my super early winner, and I'll come back to this at the end of the season, and I'll react to how totally wrong I was, and yeah, I think we should get right into it, uh, drop a like, do it, yeah, so, as you guys know, I'm a, no, you don't know, I'm a Portland Trailblazers fan, my custom Coover jersey, and I've been them, I mean, I live in Washington State, so it makes sense that they're my team, Damian Lillard's my favorite player, and I got kind of high expectations for us this season. So we'll start off with the Western Conference, and we have the one-seeded Lakers. I'm not going to do records because of the wonky season. There's like 76, 70-something games, but there could be cancellations. So that's just too tough to do records. Maybe I'll do that at a different time. But number one-seeded Lakers. Number two, okay, I'll just do matchup by matchup. So I got the number one-seeded Lakers taking on the number eight-seeded Pelicans. Yes, the Pelicans. Pelicans sneak in there. The team I have out from last year. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. I'll just actually... Yeah, so Pelicans versus Lakers, that's the first matchup. And then I have the number two seed, the Denver Nuggets. Yes, I have the Nuggets ahead of the Clippers. I think the Clippers will do some more loads management. Kawhi won't play as many games. PG won't, PG won't play as many games. It'll happen. We know it'll happen. I mean, just the way that, that that's how the Clippers roll. And well, it'll happen. We'll see it. Paul George won't put maybe injuries here and there. And they lost Montrose Harrell, so you can't overlook that. Nuggets looked super great in the bubble. Jamal, Jokic. They did lose Jeremy Grant and Mason Plumlee to the Pistons. That's kind of interesting. That team's still scary. Will Barton's going to be back. Monte Morris is a good bench player. Michael Porter Jr. is turning into a star. They retained Paul Millsap. That team's scary. That team's scary nice, honestly. So I'm excited. I think they lost Torrey Craig. But I'm excited to see my team. That's my brother's favorite team, Nicole Jokic. I'm excited to see that team play. And they're going to be the 2 seed taking on my team, the Portland Trailblazers, at the 7 seed. I'm going to put a, put this one seed up from last year. Yes. Two years ago, we were the three seed. Dominance. Made it to the semifinals. Could not beat the Warriors. I went to one of those games. Such a fun time. It was the game we also won where Myers Leonard popped off. But yes, we could not beat the Warriors. They went to the finals. Of course, they lost. I think we could have won the Raptors. But yeah. So now we've fallen off last year. We got to the eight seed. Had to make a comeback. Under 500. This year, I think we'll be over 500. Just the West is so good. A couple of games over 500 won't get you a high seed. It'll get you seven or eight, maybe not even in the playoffs. So I don't know. I think we'll get the seven seed, maybe the six, uh, the, maybe the eight seed. I'm kind of confident, but what do we really do? We brought back Melo. We signed Derek Jones, traded for Rocco. CJ Elby is our draft pick. Got rid of Ariza, retained Hood. I mean, it's a fine off season. Just, I don't see that putting us that much better. Unless Dame just has an insane MVP year. I us hope he does. But yeah, okay, back to the point. Number three, seeded Clippers taking on the number six seeded Rockets. Yes, I just posted a reaction to the Rockets trading Russell Westbrook for John Wall. And that trade, I thought that it was going to help them. And I still think it will help them. But they're dropping a seed. So you're thinking, how does that help them? It helps them just, I mean, it helps the team. But the reason they're dropping a seed is because there's just better teams now. Like the Mavericks getting better. Nuggets getting better, Clippers, good, Lakers, I mean, maybe even the Warriors now. Just I just think they're going to drop. There's healthier teams, better teams. So it helps the team, yes, but their seed, no, because of how good the Western Conference is. They'll get the sixth seed. In us. No, they won't. No, no, no. I think they might get the sixth seed in my start of the season predictions. And they'll place the Los Angeles, Los Angeles, oh my God, I cannot talk. Los Angeles Clippers in the first round who still are going to be a scary team. I know that Paul George gets so much hate. Kawhi Leonard kind of choked. I mean, Paul George choked the most. They lost Montrezl Harrell. They still have a good team. Pat Beverly, 
They brought in a couple guys. Can't really remember off the top of my head who they brought. Oh, Sergi Baca. That's who it was. That was a big one. Sergi Baca and Alex Len. I mean, that's fine. So, yeah, they'll, they'll be fine. Oh, they'll be good. Not fine. No, no, they'll be good again. Then we have the four-seeded Dallas Mavericks. Yes, Mavericks could jump up three spots. Luka's get that much better. I know Porzingis will have an injury start this season, but I think they can make up a game without him. I think Luka will have an MVP year. Maybe when the MVP pop off again, 30, maybe triple-double, honestly. And he'll win MVP prediction. And they'll get the four seed. And they'll face the Golden State Warriors as the five seed. Yes, I know it's kind of high for the Warriors without Klay Thompson. But they bring in Kelly Oubre. They draft James Wiseman. They got Draymond. I mean, just they still on paper, they look like a good team. And it's hard to just doubt the Warriors. They're the Warriors. Steph Curry, if he plays like an MVP, this team will be in the playoffs. So, Warriors at five seed. Seems kind of high. I even thought to myself, I might have to load. Uh, I'm rethinking that rocket. Uh, I'll keep them at five. But number one seed, we have the Los Angeles Lakers. Yes, Lakers literally just got better. They, they did nothing but get better. I know AD is not officially re-signed yet, but they're going to get AD back. Dennis Schroeder, Montre Terrell, Marcus Gasol, Wesley Matt. Oh, my gosh, bro. They lost Rondo. Wow, big deal. Oh, man. They lost Dwight Howard. Woo. Not even fair, bro. They're going to win a 3 beat probably. And they're facing the New Orleans Pelicans. That's my surprise team in the playoffs. The only team that wasn't in it last year. And you guys are probably thinking, you missed someone. You missed you missed the Jazz. I did not miss the Jazz. The Jazz will get the nine seed. They'll barely miss the playoffs. I think the Pelicans will edge out the Jazz for that eight spot. Mike Conley didn't show anything last year. Boyan Bogdanovich is fine. Mitchell is a great player. I don't know. I, oh man, I'm just remembering the bubble. I just looked backwards and saw my poster of a 50-point Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know anymore. This is too tough. All right. This is going to be wrong, but I'm going to stick with it for now. Jazz will barely miss the playoffs to the Pel. Oh, that just sounds so disgusting to say. But, yes, Pelicans will make the playoffs. Zion will have a great year. Brendan Ingram pop off again. Lonzo Ball brought in Steven Adams and Eric Bledsoe. Got rid of Drew Holiday. But that's not that big of a deal for who they brought in. Jackson Hazel developed. I mean, this is a good team for the future. This year they'll be okay. All right, so I guess I'll move on to the Eastern Conference. Oh, yeah, another team on the verge. I had the Phoenix Suns barely missing the playoffs, probably the 10 seed. And, I mean, they brought in Chris Paul, and they have Devin Booker and Aiden, and they also made it last year. It's hard to not think the team will contend. They did lose Oubre, but it's not a big deal. And the Timberwolves. I think there could be a surprise team with D'Lo and Cat and Anthony Edwards, Ricky Rubio. They've brought a lot of young, not young, yeah, they're kind of young. They got a good team to build around, and they have a great future. Just I don't think this is their year with how stacked. Once the Lakers and the Clippers, or once the Lakers fall off, then the, like in a couple years, then this will be wide open the West. Same as the Rockets, maybe even so, and the Warriors once Curry gets retired. All right, let's move on to the Eastern Conference. The Milwaukee Bucks are gonna be the one seed. I know they've been bad, not okay, not bad. They've been okay the last couple of years. No, they've been good in the playoff in the regular season. They choked to the Raptors and they walked, got swept by the no five one by the four one by the Heat. It's been bad. I'm a, Bucks are my second favorite team. I love Giannis. I mean, I'm kind of I guess sure you can call me a bandwagon, but Giannis is my favorite pl- favorite player. So the Bucks, I root for them, and I have them taking on the Hawks. That's my surprise team in the playoffs. The AC's up for grabs. Wizards, Magic, Hornets, Hawks. Maybe those are the conversations. I think the Hawks will snag the. Eight seed, and they'll play the Bucks. Trey Young, looking like a great player. They drafted oh, Aneka Okungu, brought in Danilo Gallinari. They still got DeAndre, or no, Clint Capella, John Collins, Kevin Herter, Cam Reddish still could be a piece. DeAndre Hunter could still be a piece. So they got a good future. They got a good squad. Maybe the eight seed. All right, then I got the two seeded Boston Celtics. Yes, no Kemba to start the year. I think they'll still end up managing the two seed without Jason Tatum will show his superstarness. Jalen Brown will pop out as an all star. They lost Gordon Hayward, but that just cleared up some cap space. Not a big deal. Marcus Smart is a great young, not young, he's a great scrappy player that I really love watching. Kind of like just a great player that kids should look up to. That's how you play basketball. You play hard, you play defense, you take charges. That's just how you should be playing basketball. He fits that really well. Daniel Tice, they lost Ennis Cantor to the Portland Chair Budgets. I forgot to mention that. But Daniel Tice, and they brought in Tristan Thompson, I believe. And they drafted. I couldn't tell you who they drafted. I'd have to actually fact check that. Hold on. Oh, wow. I'm dumb. 
Celtics Draft Picks 2020. They brought in Aaron Nesmith. Okay, actually not a bad pick. Bringing in Aaron Nesmith to come play some, I think, shooting guard, small forward, or maybe even point guard. He'll be a nice player on the bench. This team could be... This team is really good. Like, scary, scary good. Yes, and then we have the three... Oh, they're playing the Indiana Pacers at the 7th seed. Pacers... I'm sorry, guys. Your team just looks good on paper. If you're just if you watch the bubble, your team looks good on paper. But I don't know. Miles Turner as your center, Demontis Sabonis as your power forward, T.J. Warren overrated as your small forward. Old people doesn't want to be there as your shooting guard, and Brogdon, a good player at your point guard. Just I don't think I don't see it. Seven seeds fair. And then you got three seeded Nets versus Seventy Sixers. The Brooklyn Nets with Kyrie and Kevin Durant, Joe Harris, Karis Levert. That team's scary. They could have got James Harden. They still have a chance at the deadline, but not for now. Placing the Seventy Sixers, who have they brought shooters in? They brought in shooters, and that's huge for them. If Simmons and Embiid can play with their shooters, this team could be a deep playoff run. And we have the four seeded Heat. Seth, by the way, there's Seth Curry, Danny Green, and Tyrese Maxey were the shooters that they brought in. Then we got the Heat versus the Raptors. The four seed versus five seed. Heat as a four seed, flipping, moving up one spot from last year. They didn't really do anything. They re-signed Bam and they brought in Avery Bradley and re-signed Goran Dragic. I think that's all they did. I I don't I don't want people to roast me in the comments. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up the Heat roster 2020. Uh, they they lost Jay Crowder. I know that one. They brought in Mo Harkless. Okay, that just doesn't really do them anything. Yeah, they brought in Mo Harkless. Nice. I remember Mo Harkless from the Blazers. He started for us in that three seed years, and maybe he will have an impact. But yeah, they're going to be putting up the five seed Raptors. They're dropping. Yes, I know the Raptors went from two seed, three seed to five seed. Just I just think the Nets are going to be a better regular season team. I, I, that sounds maybe weird, but I think that's what's going to happen. And then we have the Raptor. Okay, yeah, that's all the teams we got. Siakam. And Lowry Van Vliet, and they drafted Malachi Flynn with the 27th pick in the draft from Washington State. Goes to my high school, well, my soon to be high school, and my brother's high school. Malachi watched him play. He's a great player. I mean, impactful player. San Diego State led them to a almost undefeated season. Coming that deep playoff run, he'll be a nice piece for them. And they lost Serge Ibaka, which is not a big deal. Lost Marcus Saul, kind of a big deal. I mean, two their centers, but it's all right. They'll get the five seed. So then we'll move on. We got Lakers versus Pelicans. The Lakers will roll over the Pelicans. Young versus experienced. Lakers, I mean, you can't stop that team. LeBron and AD will rolling. Uh, Wesley Matthews can fill Danny Green's role. Rajon Rondo is filled by Dennis Schroeder. Mo, uh, Marcus Saul and uh, the Montrose Hale are filling JaVale and Dwight Howard's roles. I mean, Kuzma's still there. Yeah, scary. All right, Mavericks versus Warriors, four versus five. This is a good matchup. Curry versus Luka. I think this will be the Warriors' last true run. Maybe one more after this, and Curry will teach Luka a lesson. In a seven-game series, the Warriors will upset the Mavericks. And then I have the Nuggets and the Trailblazers, two versus seven. I think the Nuggets will pull it out, as much as I hate to say it. The Blazers, I don't know. It's a rematch. That is, ooh, ooh. I don't know, actually. This will be a great seven-game series. Go into the Portland Trail Blazers. Daily Lord will pop off. Hopefully, Roko can lock down Jamal or Jokic, whoever gets put on. He'll be put on one of them. I don't care if he's a small forward and they're not that position. Blazers will barely win. I think it could go either way. Clippers versus Rockets. This is going to be a Clippers five game, six-game series. I think the Rockets will snag a couple hard and will pop off. John Wall will be fine. Just the Clippers... They'll have everyone in the playoffs. No more load management. Move on to the East. We have the Bucks versus the Heat, or the Bucks versus the Hawks. Um, this will be the Bucks beating the Hawks. Trey Young cannot do enough. Great young team, future, but I think this is the Bucks with Drew Holiday, Middleton, and Giannis and Brick Lopez. Heat versus Raptors. I'm gonna go with the upset. The Raptors. Yes, I know the Heat just made the finals. You don't need to say that in the comments. I know, but sorry, Heat fans. I just don't think. Not luck, but I think that they just. There's just so many good teams, and I think the Raptors, if they had got there, they would have beat you guys. Ah! I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. Heater winning. Heater winning. Heater winning. My bad. I got to It's hard. I can't. Bam and Jimmy. No, no. Tower Hero. No, 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 no. 
Okay, Celtics versus Pacers. Uh, we got Celtics in a sweep over the Pacers. I'm sorry, Pacers fans. Just every year, it's a first-round exit for you guys. Victor Oladipo will leave on his contract here. I'm sorry. Nats versus 76ers. This is my upset for the Eastern Conference. The 76ers will upset Kyrie and KD. The chemistry be shaky. If they bring in Harden, it'll be a different story. But... I think the Nets will get upset in the seven-game series. The shooters will shine, and the stars will show. Ben and Joel and the shooters moving forward will win that game. Bucks and Heat, the rematch. We got the Bucks moving on to the semifinals again. And they'll be going up against the Boston Celtics, who will be making it back as well. And the Boston Celtics will beat the 76ers. I just think they can shut down Joel. With No, they can't shut down Joel, but they can... Maybe guard Ben Simmons, Marcus Smart, I don't know. And then I just think the offense overpowers them on the defensive side of the ball. So let's move on. Lakers versus Warriors. I think this will be a great matchup, but I think the Lakers will definitely win. Curry is not enough. Wiseman is just a rookie. You know, Clay. I don't think he'll be back by then. So, Nichols will win. Blazers versus Clippers. I got the Clippers. Blazers run, Blazers run comes to an end. The Clippers will move on with that star-studded team. But then it's easy. The Lakers go into the finals. Over the Clippers, maybe even asleep. Sorry, Kawhi and PG. This the Lakers stole your big man. They stole Schroeder. They got everyone. I mean, this team is insane. If you don't put them to repeat, you're ridiculous. And then we got the Bucks versus the Celtics. And I'm gonna go with the Milwaukee Bucks to make it to the finals. And they lose to the Lakers in a six game series. I hate to say it. Giannis will get to the finals, but he will not get a chip with his new team. I think A D can stop Giannis, but vice versa. So it'll be down to LeBron. And I think LeBron will dominate Middleton, depending on if Middleton guards him. Or Drew Holiday might guard him. I just think LeBron can stop him, find his shooters, find his bigs. The Lakers will win in six. That is my playoff bracket. And the MVP of the finals will be Anthony Davis. And the regular season MVP will be... Luka Doncic, and the Rookie of the Year will be James Wiseman. Comeback player, or most improved. Oh my gosh, most improved. I wish it was like football, because I'll give it to John Wall. Uh, if John Wall plays well, he'll be the most improved. And Coach of the Year will be Lakers coach uh, Mike Frank Vogel. And Defensive Player of the Year will go to Anthony Davis. They won the championship, and those are my early predictions. Guys, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, comment down below if I'm right or wrong. I will come back and react to this if we get 30 views. If not, I probably still won't anyway. I just want to get some views. Guys, please promote my channel. I will promote it on CG. <laughs> I have three channels. This channel, which is an NBA channel, and No Sportscast, which is my podcast channel, and CD Perfect, the most dead channel, my old trick shot channel. We finally posted a video from about four months ago. I sound ridiculous. I probably still sound ridiculous. I look ridiculous, too. But, yes, we posted a video over there. Make sure you check all these out. And thank you guys for watching. I'll put all the stuff in here will be the my last video. Here will be my channel. That will be NW Sportscast. That will be CG Perfect. That will be NW Sportscast's last video and my Wall versus Westbrook trade reaction. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, comment if it's able to, share, turn on notifications. I know it's not gonna happen. Can we get to 45 subs by December, by Christmas? Peace.